Another day in the Ravensown woods. <coughs> there is much to be gained if one is about the business of improving one's brain function by looking at the darkness of the world. I don't see any particular reason why one should trust anything. Uh, I don't see any particular reason why one would trust anyone uh, simply because you know what they do for a living or they, uh, they're they part of a certain political or religious cult. In fact, the more popular the cult, I think the less likely that it has any uh, any grasp on reality. And that in itself is extremely illuminating. Illumination is never far away when you apply yourself to examine your environment. And particularly when the environment that you inherit, in every way you might examine it, has come to you through generations of mental torture. Applied to every organ of the communication of human flesh and blood. And uh, this age is, is no different. In fact, uh, we're seeing a crest, if anything, not of in some culminating enlightenment and trans-human agenda. <coughs> we're seeing the, the cresting apotheosis of human torture. You can, you can glorify it any way you like, but torture is torture. And it has predictable effects upon human brain function. So I, myself, want to maximize my quality of life. And I found uh, early on in life that the best way to do that would be to examine the darkness around me. And that examination has gone on for years. It spanned relationships of decades that have generally turned out to be rather disappointing for me. Um, but I've been served in expanding my understanding for, for how pe why people can behave the way they do. And that when people are attracted into my life, it's rarely for a good reason. And rarely is people in my life terribly interested. I, I've gone to coffee shops for years, and nobody even has heard or is interested in a single book of the over 40 that I've written. And they wouldn't be. You know, These are not phys philosophically sophisticated people. And uh, you know, they get to live their lives with whatever honesty they have. I'm not going to sit back in my own sacred space and say that these people aren't brain damaged, because they are. And the more time I spend with myself, the more I'm inclined to spend time by myself. It's lovely. Look at this forest. Man, a nice dog. All is well. Or not. You hear that? It's the sound of our mind growing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The year is passing. Moments slipping away. Like fish, we're trying to find little bubbles of moments that are satisfying enough to restore us to wholeness. Bubble, 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 bubble. It's a big ocean. And the sun, arguably a fulcrum of the whole biosphere, certainly a very visible, uh, holy organ of every land, every living system, every brain function in the world, every sexual development in the world. I forgot what I was going to say. It'll come to me. Or it won't. Yes, we, we live in this ocean. 
and the system around us ops uh, co-ops deputizes and marshals and gains all of our surviving industry what we try to fight and how we try to work and what it means and how we rationalize it to ourselves